Alright everybody welcome to your 32nd jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called chaining in jQuery. Now chaining is not something very technical you need to know about but it's just a good practice which would save you some lines and would speed up your coding a little bit. So chaining in jQuery what literally means is combining a lot of you can say methods together on a particular element. So let's say I have a div right here um, with some styles like background green width 200 by 200. Simple enough. So in the script section, let's say let's create a call back to the document load. And right here, I want the div right here to have CSS of background red and that's it so when I will load this on the browser then you can see that the box is already red but initially if you see then it was green stupid enough but what I actually mean by this is let's say I want this div to slide up a little bit let's say 5000 so now when I reload this you see that it slides up 5000 and then hides and I want this to slide down 5000 as well so slide down 5000 so let's reload this and if you guys are confusing with this 5000 this is the delay in the slide up and slide down this has nothing to do with the width and the height of div so if I make this value small then the transition would occur quicker so this is the delay in the animation so now you see that we are operating on one div but I'm using three different lines to do same so to avoid this what we can do is I can make this in a single line not by doing this but pretty much doing chaining of the jQuery methods so right here you see that first of all what would happen is we have selected div and dot CSS background red when this is applied then this is called and when this is called then this is called now this is not necessary that these would run all in the sequential order slide up and slide down run in the sequence because they are kind of synchronous functions so this won't allow this to run unless this is completed so this is kind of called chaining in jQuery which in which you could actually do multiple properties methods assignment when you are working with a single element you know that won't change so if I reload this again then you see that there's typically no change whatsoever it's still working like it used to work in the two the three lines we were doing before so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching